Yo, what's up, guys? It's Wally here. All right, so no cringy intro today. I wanted to give you guys a little break. You know, you guys deserve a little break from all those cringy intros. You feel me? Um, but as you guys can see in the title. Hey, yo, you didn't brush the toilet when you took a fat sh. Oh, f all right. I'll, I'll be back, guys. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, well, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, as you guys can see in the title, I'm here to improve your game system. You know, gotta. Gotta improve that game sense, you know. All lame isn't. Is only. Oh my. God. Anyways, all right. So as you can see in the title, uh, I'm here to improve your game sense, you know. All right, but anyways, I'm done wasting you guys' time. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Before, before I go into it, um, I want you guys to follow me on Trouble. Link will be in the description. I stream every day. Um, I'm, you know, I'm the goat. I'm kidding, but uh, my team actually just finished winning like a really big tournament. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I just wanted to like um, flex, I guess. Um, but anyways, let's go right into it. Let's go. All right. So for this first one, not a lot of people know about, and it's something that's actually really important. Here, I'll show you guys an example of this. So uh, the clip is a little bit um, what's it called? Choppy. I don't know why, it's, <laughs> but hopefully you guys don't mind it. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right. So anyway, so I was shooting at that guy, right? And then. I back up and then I hear gunshots to my left. I'm like, oh wow, that caught me by surprise. He killed my teammate. I didn't even know he pushed up, right? So I back up, really like no, not knowing what to do. Um, just try to heal. I went back, try to laser him back up again because uh, he was on a head glitch. He had a better he had a better angle on me. Then I end up taking him out, but I was in a one with three situation. Obviously, I lost, but <laughs> that's not really the situation here or what I'm trying to talk about. All right, but you guys, you guys, okay, you guys see how he pushed up, right? I don't know. I don't know where he was pushing from. I didn't. I didn't expect it. But you guys are about to see. You see how I sit down and wait for him? Cause this time I was expecting him to push, and I easily take the kill right there. I am in a custom match right now, so, <laughs> so I can do this a little bit easier. Sorry for high's aim being super garbage, but but you see he was black van. But let's say let's say I, I didn't know he was there, or he, and he had a sniper. I, I would have gotten folded easily right there. All right. Let's say I'm too scared to go onto side after that. You know, after getting folded. But boom, next thing you know, he goes boxes and jump shots me, right? So next thing next thing I do, I backtrack to the first time he killed me. I was like, where was the first time he killed me? You know, because you got to learn patterns, right? First time he was on top of black van. So that's the first place I'm going to look at. If he's not black van, I can just look boxes. I mean, hitting a jump shot from boxes like that is kind of hard. All right, taking the chance on his pattern would have done me well if it was a real game, you know, because <laughs> he was black van. But... You guys can see how you guys can play this in a real game, right? You know, learning patterns. Maybe he's going to go boxes next time. Maybe you can try to switch it up. But most strength players don't really know how to switch things up. So I'm teaching you a little bit something. A little bit of something that some of you guys might not know. But this can fall into any game mode, into any, um, to any map, to be honest. Like, let's say you're playing firing range. Uh, you're going to expect someone to go top wood, right? Top wood, trailer. Like, teams play differently. So, if, you, if you're if you in a team right now, learn how learn how the other team plays, you know. Play them play them more often. Um, learn the patterns, like I said. Like, Fierce, Fierce tends to push trailer a lot. They try to take trailer control. So, we try to we try to stop them from doing that, you know. Anyways, too much talking. Let's go on to the next one. Boom. All right. Paying attention to the details is super important. I'll show you guys how. One of, one of the most important things about details is where bomb is planted. Because bomb is planted can teach you so many things of where opponents are. Look, I'll show you right now. No, no yeah, mid. I, uh, uh, push outside, push outside. Yes, can play time, play time, play time. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. One, one, one. Uh, has to defuse, has to defuse. He's pushing tank, 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 tank. tank. Nice, it's over. Nice. Good. As you can see, bomb was planted for him. He knew where bomb was. He got the call out of where bomb was, and he knew exactly how to play that. That man hacks is insane. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what I mean about how important it actually is. All right, so I got into another custom game so I can get more into detail. All right, so I'm on stand off, right? You see where the bomb's planted, right here. I'm gonna pause it real quick. All right, but you see how it's located outside the bomb, like in the in the view for boxes. Boxes is to the left of me, right? So that's the first place I'm gonna check. They can be statue, boxes, or um, or broken. But generally, what you wanna do is go into cubby and peek boxes, um, mostly because you don't wanna be in in the in the open, you know. But you already have an idea of where they're gonna be. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, back to normal speed. You know, I pause time because I'm different, like always. 
but all right, let's go. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is peep boxes, and there he is. Easy. You also want to pay attention to like where your teammates have died. Like, let's say someone is on a side, right? Your teammates on a side, but you but he gets killed. Like, they have to be on a side at that point, right? So that's the first place you're gonna try to want to look. Um, maybe not rush it, play a little bit safe because it's, it's their whole team probably push, you know, because you're not always going to have communication with your teammates, especially in ranked. But if, you, if you're in a team, I'm pretty sure your teammates would call out where they're coming from. So, oh yeah, one more thing. Pay attention to the laser sights. I know, I know a lot of people, like, um, don't pay attention to that mostly because of the graphics, but laser sights literally save your life sometimes. I really don't have a clip, but... Laser sights help you out a lot. Like you can see, you can literally see like uh, the general view of what they're looking at and where they're at. Which is why sometimes I don't tend to ADS when I hold angles. It's risky, but it helps me a lot. But yeah, you always gotta ha pay attention to details. You know, listen to communication. That's probably what the next thing I'm gonna talk about: communication. Anyway, let's go. All right. So for those of you who solo rank, um. I don't recommend you doing this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to find a way for you guys to communicate in game. Oh, wait, can't you have voice chat on? Well, anyways, if you're in a team, this is gonna help you a lot. You gotta pay attention to communication a lot. That helps a lot with game sense. In fact, like seventy-five. I say like seventy-five percent of your game sense comes from communication, right? Because like your teammates are gonna have to call out where they died from. You can't have them complaining either, you know. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I, I I can try to find some examples of like our communications and how it's helped us in games. But anyways, I'll try to find some. <laughs> All right, I found this one. It was from the tournament yesterday as well. All right, you you guys are about to see what it leads up to. Um, it's miscommunication from the, my part of the team. Well, not my part, but their part of the team. But it it is what it is, you know. <laughs> we, hold on, just 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 wait, just wait, just wait. I'm gonna just keep talking to you guys, so uh, I won't get you guys bored. But I saw I saw someone flanking, right? So I back up, you know, knowing that someone's flanking. I try to I try to reposition myself. Although I'm not in a good spot right now, I think I take a risky play right here. Yeah, right here, I take a risky play. I push up, get the guy that was flanking or the one who was supposed to flank us. I take him out. Sneaky missed a shot on me. I re peek, no, but he's not there, so I went back, and then I did I did I did the prone glitch. Did the prone glitch and kind of did them dirty right there. You see, I don't know where bomb was planted, so they, well, I didn't, I didn't get any calls from my team where bomb was planted, so I was, I wasn't worried too much until they said that bomb wasn't planted for me. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> you see, if it wasn't for the miscommunication, I probably would have been able to clutch that. Um, it was like a one v three, one v four, but that's what I'm trying to say about communication. Communication plays a big part in game sense and winning games. Oh, yeah, communication helps a lot. Um. Sorry for all those solo anchors out there, you know, F in the chat for them, but <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, but, I mean, you shouldn't really be solo ranking in the first place. That's not really how you improve uh, besides gun skill, you know. Play scrims, you know. Play against other teams that are actually, like, have call-outs. They talk to each other, you know, play together. So you can help you, So you can improve even more. Because solo ranking won't do you much besides, like, learning the map. I mean, if you want to learn the map, the call outs are <laughs> what you need for that um but anyways let's get on to the next one i've been talking for way too long now sorry guys <laughs> last but not least we have practicing and gaining experience okay all right most people th this goes over the heads you know it's just like oh, yeah like of course you're gonna have to like play more but if you take these tips that i just showed you guys it, it, i'm not i'm sorry if it doesn't help you but most of the time it will you know Playing with the team helps you improve so much better and communication, like I said, um, paying attention to details. Um, I will make a series or hopefully if you guys want me to, I'll make a series on like how to like know where people could be on every map and how to improve uh, your winning chance <laughs> of winning on different maps. But hopefully you guys could look forward to that because that's something that I was thinking about. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just, just keep practicing, you know, learn call outs. Um, I already made a gun skill video, how to improve your aim video, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, learning people's patterns as well. Uh, just, if you guys all take this into the game, hopefully it could get, it could help you improve, like, on your game sense and, and what, knowing what to do in situations. Like, but that's basically it. Oh, you guys can also watch some, like, full gameplays on, like, how professional COD end players play. Um, I used, I used to do that back when I played another game. <laughs> Um, but it, there's nothing wrong with watching other people's play. Um, you might have, you can also have, I used to watch Shroud actually. I used to watch Shroud, that man Shroud. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, Shadow is the one who inspired me to have like my snappy aim, my, ah, my snappy aim. But yeah, I mean, I used to. You can watch vods on on like professional players. Um, it can help you guys improve, or like or like other teams. You know, learn how they play. But that's mostly it for this video. Sorry if I didn't end um, helping you guys out. Um, I tried my best. Uh, if you didn't learn anything from this, I'm sorry once again. Um, I know you guys hate it when I say sorry sometimes, but I really am. If you don't, if you guys didn't learn anything, then I'm sorry. You could just leave a dislike, you know, because <laughs> I understand, you know. But yeah, thank you for everyone that watched and for whoever stuck to the end. Say, um, ooh, what is it? What should, what should you guys say? Blanket. There we go. <laughs> say blanket out in the comments, and uh, I'll heart it. I try to heart every single comment, but. Um, yeah, say blanket. I'll also be leaving a gift card, an iTunes one, right now. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, I'm sorry, once again. <laughs> uh, if you didn't learn anything from this, my bad. Maybe next time I can help you out a little bit. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.